Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of my vlog. At this time, I would like to give a big shout out to my partner, Michael Geelan. Uh, today is his birthday, so happy birthday, bud. Hope you're having a great one. So, today's subject is about non-scale victories. In the program for the DDP yoga, or any program, you really should start, before you even get started, you need to take measurements of various aspects of, of your body, as well as pictures, so you can reference back to them later on in your journey. Now, the reason this has come up is because I've heard this a few times in various areas. Uh, the whole myth of muscle weighs more than fat. When people are not seeing the scale numbers drop or whatnot. That is a fallacy. And I will, here in a few, I will be showing you some one web pages and some pictures concerning this um, you don't concentrate on the scales because what I'm going to show you is the truth and that is muscle takes up less space than fat and when that happens, as we gain muscle and lose that body fat, the scales may say one thing, but our bodies are going to show something different. That's where the progress pictures come in, as well as the measurements. Um, so with that, let's get into the... Um, me showing you what I am referring to and let's start with the pictures um, you know five pounds of fat and five pounds of muscle is still five pounds the difference is what it says right here is muscle occupies less space than fat and a prime example of that would be John, like someone like John Cena or any professional wrestler or anybody who's in this type of um, shape. You know, uh, he's billed at about 250 pounds. Well, what's the difference between him being 250 pounds and someone else who weighs 250 pounds but don't look like this? Well, it's the muscle that he has. It's the lean muscle that is more dense than fat. And again, going back to these pictures, you know, look how much more fat there is compared to muscle. But it's still always the same. Five pounds is five pounds, no matter how, how you um, cut it up. And this is one of the websites, Healthy Habits Online. And I do highly recommend, go out, research this. The journey to get healthy and to get in shape requires us to do some other work than what is laid out for us, whether it's through a personal trainer, DDP yoga, or you're trying to do a program on your own, create one of, of your own, or, or any other um, program out there. Do your research. And... Uh, and right here, it says, a pound of fat 
takes up more volume than a pound of muscle. Again, five pounds of fat, five pounds of muscle. It's the same, except for because it's more dense, it's going to uh, take up less space. Um, here's another website. A lot of people love using MyFitnessPal. Well, right here on their own blog, they even go into the whole fallacy, the myth of muscle weighs more than fat. And right here, again, it says, muscle by design is denser and more fibrous in nature as it serves to help support and move our bodies. And the way that they describe it and to get you to think that way is a pound of feathers and a pound of gold both weigh a pound. But it's going to take a whole lot more feathers to reach that pound than a, a pound of gold. Um, and here's another website. Because a pound of fat takes up about four times the space of muscle tissue. So when you're not, and you know, even I, even though I, I will sit and say, I don't care about the weight, I just want to lose the body fat. We, as those of us who are bigger, we always still want to see those numbers drop. Because we think, because it's been grained into us throughout our lives that in order to be healthy, we have to weigh a certain number. And that is false. What we need to get rid of is the body fat, the, the harmful fat. And so when you're sitting there and you're on your journey and first you may lose 10, 20 pounds, but all of a sudden that scale stops moving. Well, how are your clothes fitting? If you've taken your pictures, look at your pictures. Is your face looking slimmer? Is Are your love handles shrinking? Is, has your stomach shrank? Has your is your neck not as fat as your if you got a double chin? How's the fat underneath your chin? Is that gone? So there are all those that is really good compared to what we've always been taught. We have to get away from, well, we have to weigh such and such pounds in order to be healthy. No. We have to get healthy by reducing the fat in our bodies. That's where the healthiness is. So, to all of you out there who have just started your journey with DDPY or weight training or Weight Watchers or, or Nutrisystem or whatever program that you're doing to try to get healthy, don't worry about the scale. The scale is not the determining factor of your success. Remember that. Because when you don't think you're making progress, pull out those pictures, compare them side to by side. Take your progress pictures approximately every 30 days. I failed, I stopped doing that for whatever reason, got lazy, just whatever. And But I've started back doing that again because I want to see, and believe me, I was seeing it. Um, 
in areas that I didn't think I was. But when I was doing those progress pictures, getting in those six poses that DDP Yoga asks you to take, in the different areas I was seeing, I started having this thinner face. The rolls on, on my side were shrinking. There wasn't as deep of crevices when I would bend over. So, please people, please get out of the mindset that muscle weighs more than fat and that you have to have a certain number on the scale to measure your, your success. The measure of your success is where is how are you feeling do you have more energy are your clothes fitting looser maybe you've had to go out and buy new clothes because you've lost that body fat but gained that good lean muscle that but yet it's still saying that you weigh it a certain amount so what You've got new clothes because your other ones were just too big. So, um, that's that's all I really wanted to say this time. I know this is shorter than the last one, but um, but that's where where I'm at, um, and this. So, you know, and this all came about because of. A short little conversation um, and somewhere else and uh, I just wanted to get it out there so people can learn and um, if I remember I'll post some of these um, links to these sites that talks about it so you can learn but don't take my word for it Continue to look it up from various sources. That's what you need to do. No matter how well laid out a program is to get you in shape and healthy, you still have to put in the work and do more research because everybody's body is different. What works for me may not work for you especially nutritional wise but you need to research and learn about it you know as they say knowledge is power you have to know in order to be able to do so that's it you all have a wonderful day and remember own your life